In this video, we are going to understand how to send notification on Google Chat for Webflow form submission. So here our objective is that every time a new submission is received in Webflow, which is a website designing tool, then automatically the notification should be sent to my team on Google Chat. How can that be done? For this, we will have to integrate these two applications and we are going to do so with the help of Public Connect. Here, our trigger application will be Webflow and our action application will be Google Chat. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. So this here is a dashboard of Pabli Connect software. You can reach here with the link which is given in the video description. So if you are a new user, sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And if you are an existing user, simply sign in. Once you do that, here you can see on the right hand side, we have a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box will appear that will ask you to name this workflow. Now here you can give any random name. What is my objective? Every time I receive a new form submission through Webflow, then automatically the information should be sent to my team sitting on Google Chat. So I'm going to name it as send notification on Google Chat for Webflow form submission. Let's click on create. As we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now, triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this, when this happens, action says, do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. Now, as per this integration, my trigger application will be Webflow form submissions. Let's click on this. And then comes the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run. And here it will be new form submission. Now on the right hand side, you can see it is written that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time, which means that this trigger is not polling based. You won't have to wait for the response at all. You will get instant responses. Now here you can see we have received a webhook URL. This is going to act as a bridge for connecting Webflow and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to copy this. Once you do that, you have to follow the following help text. So let me show you exactly what you have to do. So this is my Webflow account. And now here, this is the dashboard. So these are the two projects that I have created. Let's say that I'm going to work for Techno Institution project. So here, first of all, I'll go to settings. Let's go to settings. Once we are here, then we'll go to integrations. Now, as I scroll down here, I'm going to click on add webhooks and let's select form submission. This will be our trigger type. Now here we have to paste the webhook URL that we had just received. I'm going to copy this once again and paste this over here. Let's click on add webhook. So here we can see that the webhook has been added successfully. Once this is done, now here let's go to Pabli Connect. So it is saying that now do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Now to check if Pabli Connect and Webflow have been integrated, we are going to do this test submission. So here I already have opened the form and now here I'm going to fill up this form. So let's say the name here is dummy user then the email address here is dummy at pablitudes.com then we have the phone number and the gender let's say it is mail i'm going to click on submit so we can see that the form has been submitted taking you back to Pabli connect here we can see we have received the response so the site is this this here is the name of the form then we have the phone number gender name email address and here we have received the id once we have received this information i want to send a notification in google chat okay so let's look for google chat here it is and the action event here would be to create message let's click on connect now, as we do that, here we can see that Pabli Connect and Google Chat are connected. Now we have to fill in this information. We need this chat webhook URL. How can we get that? So first, I'm going to take you to my Google Chat account. So this here is my Google Chat account. And here I already have created a space. The name is test space here. Let's click on the drop down. Let's go to apps and integrations. And here you can see manage webhooks. Let's click on this. Now here you have to give it some name. So I'm going to name it as demo test integration. 
and now I'm going to click on save. As we do that, here we have received the webhook URL. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and the, I'm going to paste it. Okay, once this is done, now what is the message that you want to share with your team? So I'm going to write team, we have received a new lead. The details of the lead, let's map the information how. So here, first of all, I'm going to write name. Now you can see the previous step here. Let's click on this. And this here is the name of the person. Now the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Now let's say that I had written this manually. Then even when I had received some new data, it wouldn't have taken that. Instead, it would have gotten stuck with this particular data. That is why we map the information. Now let's enter the email address as well. And I'm going to go to step one. This here is the email address. Now the contact number of the person. So here, let's go down. And this here is the contact number. Now I also want to add the ID that we have received. And this here is the ID that we have received regards. So every time we receive a new lead, then a message that like this will be shared with my team. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. As we do that, here we have received the response. And now let's go and check our Google chat. And here you can see that yes, we have received the information, which means that our integration is a success. Let's also check the same in real time. So here I'm going to take you back to Webflow. Let's click on this link. Now here, let's say the name is new dummy 67. This here is the email address, phone number. And let's say this time it's a female. Click on submit. So the form has been submitted. Let's go and check our Google chat and you can see we have received a new lead. So this means our integration is a success. Taking you back to Pabli Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So this is an extremely easy two-step integration process where our trigger is Webflow. The event is new form submission and our action application is Google chat hangout where the event is create message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.